The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fifth webinar on SimSolid. We'll give uh, one minute or two for everybody else to join in. If somebody could say you can hear me loud and clear and also see the screen, I'll appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, right, I think we'll be start to begin. Um, so again, welcome to the fifth webinar. And this webinar, we're going to talk about uh, both the connections. So the brief agenda is after a short introduction. Uh, I'm going to use Inventor Nastran as a workflow to show you uh, what is normally required to do the uh, bolts analysis. And then we'll go into SimSolid and show you the alternative workflow so you can appreciate it. The example I have used is, is not a, a large example because I don't want to be spending a lot of time creating bolts. But you can see, appreciate uh, how much time is required to do the bolt connections within Nastran as compared to SimSolid so you can appreciate it. And then we'll just finish off with uh, some Q&A. Now, First of all, let's have a look. Uh, many of you here are already using uh, the Autotest solutions, primarily Inventor Nastran uh, and Inventor Stress Analysis. So uh, depending on who I speak to from the customers, uh, uh, Inventor, in my opinion, can't, can't be used to analyze both the connections, but I have seen customers analyzing uh, Inventor fasteners. Uh, but the only difference is that when people want to analyze both the connections, they want the ability to be able to actually uh, apply preloads. So if you apply, so you can model it in Inventor in brief, but obviously you can't apply preloads uh, on the actual bolts itself. And that is the, in the same, similar to Nastran, if you want to use the bolt of connections. But in Nastran, we can actually uh, create bolt of connections with, uh, without using the Inventor fasteners. And that is primarily using classical method, uh, which is primarily used in many of the, the FVA softwares, like uh, namely ANSYS and uh, Abacus. One thing to note that is when we are analyzing bolts in the event of NAS runs, we don't simulate uh, friction between bolts and the, re and the geometry. It's basically using a beam, uh, beam elements and truss elements. And I'll go to that and you can see it. Uh, so the workflow typically involved in Inventor Nastran is that we have to suppress the bolted connections. And then uh, the most tedious part of it is that we need to go and split faces uh, to represent where the uh, the bolt heads or the washers are actually going to be uh, the size of the washers so that the load can be spread. Uh, and that is the most time consuming uh, process, in my opinion. And then we're going to go and then redefine both the connection within Nastran. So that is the sort of a, the brief uh, workflow which we'll go through in Inventor. And in SimSolid, unless you've already been having a go uh, on the software, I would suspect, uh, you can reuse the both the connections. And, and the part I like most about it is that it creates contacts uh, automatically and they are the right contacts. For example, it creates bonded and sliding contacts. So that is a, a big plus within SimSolid. So I'll go through these different workflows. Okay. So we here have a, a simple assembly with some fasteners and it is a a simple fabrication and you can see here I have got uh, washers and nuts in here so we can basically I've got two types of bolt connections uh, as uh, defined by Nastran that's a bolt connection and these are cap screws in the bottom three 
So I'm not going to, in the inventor, obviously, uh, you can model it as it is and define the contacts. And basically, the only uh, downside is you won't be able to apply a preload. And that is typically what is required when everything is being fastened down with bolts. So I'll use the the process in last one, which is very similar. But before we go into there, uh, we need to suppress the bolts. So I have already created a, a level of detail in here. Now, one of the things in here you can see here, I, if I show you the views, shared it with edges. Now you can see here, if I was to create a bolt now with a NASRAN, uh, I only have this edge, uh, which I can select. Now that's like having a bolt which is hanging off the edge of the hole, which will basically create a very, very high stress. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to activate the uh, the part and this is the process which we have to go through so if I go into here okay and then we can simply project geometry and then you can define the uh, the washer diameter and this area is where the load will be transferred from the bolt onto the plate. Okay, and then I'm afraid you have to do these for all the bolts. So we just simply okay, and then I think we need to do one on the other side of the the of the other component. Now once you've done this. We then need to basically, uh, if I just bring back my sketch, okay, so now we need to split the faces, so if we just simply pick the split tool, and I've got to do this for all of the uh, sketches. And just one more at the back end here. Okay, and I think they're almost done. So the so obviously you can see here already that if you have lots of uh, bolted fasteners, it's probably going to take a, a little bit of while, uh, a while to do this. So hopefully, okay. So we're just going to remove the uh, sketch dimensions. Okay, we've got the edges here. And now we're ready to go into Nastron. Okay, so the first thing we notice here, we're gonna I'm gonna use the mild steel, it's gonna be assigned to everything. Uh, and let's just simply uh, let's create the, the fasteners first. So now in the fasteners process, as you can see in Nastron, we have uh, the bolted connections. And we have two types of bolted connections within Nastran. One is a through bolt and the other one is a cap screw or threaded bolt. So first of all, we'll do the bolted connections, which is the top one here. Now you can see here, I can either pick the edge or I can pick the face. Now it's not good practice to pick the edge because that will uh, result in high stress singularities as if the bolt is just hang, uh, hanging off the edge of the bolt hole. So we'll pick this one here, and by, by default, it picks the diameter of the inner hole. And then we've got to go and pick the other side. And this is not a, a 3D bolt. It's basically a 3D representation of a beam, which is going to go to the middle. And typically, we need to specify the, um, the washer heights. 
on both sides. And then I'm going to use Miles Deal in this case as an example. And then you have two choices uh, to be able to apply a preload, either an actual preload or a torque. So we're simply going to apply a, a preload here now. And then we're just going to press um, OK. And then I'm going to repeat the command for the other bolt connections here. So we'll just go and just pick this one here. Now, the slightly difference here now is it's going to go and ask for the threaded area. Now, if that threaded region is not going to be fully threaded by the bolt, then I'm afraid you'll have to go and split that threaded region again. So it's more work. So we'll assume the bolt's going to go along the whole thread. And we'll simply go in here, specify three. Oh, sorry, it was four and 16,000 and this time one of the things I like about an asked one here I don't have to go and close the dialog box and redefine all these values again I can simply go into next here and define the bolt base and the thread and then go into here okay and then this, so this is the uh, the bolted connections within uh, Nastran. So that's the uh, the part here. Now, obviously, I forgot to do the pin, bring the pin in intentionally. As you may have, some of you might be aware that we can suppress parts within Nastran. So if I exclude that from analysis, and we simply go and apply a bearing load on here, and we do the same thing in SimSolid. So if I pick this one here. It's going to be in the minus x direction. We're doing a half a model, so half a load. OK. And we're just simply going to restrain this box section here. OK, and the only thing left now is we simply need to go and define the contacts. Uh, we'll do the automatic contacts and we'll have a quick look. Now, obviously, it's brought up the contact between the pins, so we can simply suppress that. It's a bonded contact, so we can change that to a surface contact. We can specify a friction, but I'll leave it here for a moment. And now we can just, I'm going to keep the default mesh. I do understand the mesh is not. Um, Fine, but we'll run this. If I just change the color so you can see the mesh. Okay, so we have so this is an example here. So we can run this. The reason why I've left as a coarse mesh is to hopefully run a little bit quicker. Now what will happen now is that we one of the things we can do in here, last one, is we can look at the stresses in the bows. And also, I just want to, uh, we, we have some new audiences here, so I just want to show you the differences and the speed of the analysis as well. Okay, so let's have a quick look here. So we have a stress. So the stress we see on the model here, okay, we have high stresses here because you can see it's a coarse mesh. Uh, we have a stress. So the way Nastron works is that you, the first stress you look at is in the geometry itself. And what we can do here is we can start then change the results types to beam one misers. And this then basically gives you stresses in the, the beams, as you can see here. And we have different colors and we have high, high stress in the beams. We just got to basically make sure that the stress does not exceed the yield limit of the bolt materials. You can also look at uh, shear force and Axial forces also within the beams within Nastran, but just want to give you a feel for what is involved inside Nastran. So now what we'll do here is have a quick look uh, at SimSolid. So what I've got here is I've brought the SimSolid part, the same materials. Uh, now the only thing I didn't do is, uh, is switch on the automatic contact, so I'll switch that on now. 
and uh, this will create and you can see all the bolts and fasteners have come through uh, and we're basically going to see all the connections and all in here uh, and if I simply first of all let's just apply a structural linear analysis and also we'll apply the same material to everything okay so we have the same materials now what I can do here is we can have a look at what is happening if I pick this bolt to the connection here we can review the part of the connections and the one thing I like about uh, sim solid here is you can see here it has automatically configured the contacts on the fastener so we have the bonded contact between the washer and the uh, the bolt head then we have a sliding contact between the bolt and the washer and and also with the washer and the plate you can see this one uh, sorry the bolt and this plate here so it saves us going and modifying all these contacts uh, within uh, the analysis software so this is, has been done automatically you can modify these uh, to whatever contacts you want uh, so if I just cancel that uh, let's just show it once more so if you want to change any of these contacts you can see here you can pick and choose whatever contact you prefer so uh, you can modify these to your liking so that's one of the things I like about in sim solid all the contacts have been predefined and pre-selected so what we'll do here now is we'll simply go and do the same thing we did inside uh, in, in Nastran so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, is to suppress the pin uh, now we can go and define the constraint so I'm going to pick side here okay and the next thing we're going to do here is apply the preload or the bearing load first of all and uh, 15,000 and this I think is the cool part now if we have a bolt through then we can have nut tightening and bolt tightening so I'll pick the nut tightening first to show you different examples so the software is clever uh, to distinguish between a nut and a bolt so if I pick this nut here uh, we have a thread pitch of 2.5 and we can apply a, a force of what 16,000 and same th and then we can do the uh the nut tightening which is so the bolt tightening sorry and uh, we can pick these all that one and same pitch and you have different types of turns you can do it at, uh, you can have number of turns you can specify torque similar to nastran and we're going to specify 16000 newtons okay so now we have defined all the conditions and obviously sim solid doesn't require a, a, a mesh now one thing i had forgot in an astran was i didn't define symmetry so we'll define symmetry in this case here so we can specify symmetry using a slider So now we have a fully defined boundary condition. So now we can check. So we will okay out the simple check to make sure that everything is working. And now we can run the analysis. So this is going to the uh, the the three different iterations based on the if I just click on that for an example is on the stiffness and if you want more accurate results we can do this adapt for stress like we did in the early webinar so if I cancel that to show you the results so let's look at the stress results now you can see here 
unlike Nastran, we're looking at the stresses in the bolts and the whole body here. So I want to look at the maximum stresses in here. So what we'll do here is zoom into that area there. And this is one thing I like. You can see here the highest stress is actually in the bolt itself here. So this is one thing I like about SimSol. You can actually zoom in and it sort of makes everything else transparent. And then if I want to look at this plate here, and it goes everything else out again. Okay, and the other cool thing about SimSolid is what you can do down here is it gives you a, a list of all the axial forces, shear forces, bending moment diagrams in all the bolts in the assembly, <clears throat> which I think is pretty cool and it's not so straightforward in last run to be able to um, capture all this information. So I hope it's given you a sort of a, a brief overview of what is uh, possible and how easy it is to uh, analyze both the connections within uh, SimSolid. Um, obviously, it was a simple example with four bolts. Now you can think of that uh, if we had an assembly with over 100 bolts, for example, which is feasible and possible. I have seen some examples, then it's almost a, a tedious process in the current Autodesk solutions. Uh, within SimSolid, it's just pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go back to. <clears throat> so, if you are all new, so I have some new audiences here. So, just uh, would like to briefly mention that the Sim Solid trial is still active uh, through this uh, uncertain times. The link to download the trial is from our website. Uh, you, can, you can click on this link here. You'll get the video afterwards and. You have all the full support from Altair and SimSolid. And one of the things I think is nice, if you have the time, you can sit on one of the Altair one day SimSolid training courses uh, if the place is available. <clears throat> now, don't forget to attend the our last session. And in this session, I have a very large example of a welder fabrication and over 700 boulder connections. Uh, one of our uh, customers, Kersey of Pilkingtons, and it'd be nice to see how long a typical example like this would take uh, within Nastran, and I will be doing it live within SimSolid, and you can then compare and get a feel for how long it's going to take. And now I'm ready for any questions anybody may have. It's, I know it's been a while since we had our earlier sessions of so our hang around for a couple of minutes and I do hope you can join me for our final session uh, next week. Okay. Well, okay, guys, thank you very much, and I hope I can see you guys uh, next week. Thank you very much for your time, and bye for now.